Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. Yes, I'm Daniel. Rex, this is another gift from David Moskowitz. David Moskowitz, you magnificent bastard. This is the uh, the other one he sent us from M and H, ah. which is their sherry cask finished one. Okay, right? Yeah, yeah. So the reason I was curious, and I said, "Hold on to the other glasses," sure. is because yes. that musty vegetal funk. So you're referring to the first one we reviewed, yeah, yesterday. Which is this, and now I have the pour of that yep. from yesterday. Now we're going into this week in AB. That musty vegetal funk. Yes. It could be developed really well with sherry, I think. I could fall, I think it could start to draw out and maybe even partner and mute down the sulfur notes of sherry. Okay. But we'll see. Or it could double down and turn into a whole other league of funk. Yes. We've got the funk. Got the funk. Yeah, see, it's tamped down. A bit. It's still there, though. Yeah. It's still there. Hold on. We'll it's do definitely it. still there. It's still got that slightly sour vegetation. It's still there, but it also is accompanying words accompanied accompanied. There it is by figs by other things from the uh, stuff that happened. Not quite with, raisin. I was giving my analysis. That was, that my, was the analysis. my assessments. Oh yeah, of the A situation. He just stepped on it. This is critical information presented <laughs> expertly. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, I just, it, that vegetation still hasn't taken a back seat. Mm -mm. It's still, if not the driver's seat, then it's at least the front passenger seat. It's still right up there. But they've coated it. Uh, this, ah, this is going to sound terrible, and it's not quite as far as it sounds. But you know how they will flavor medicine so that somehow it's more palatable, but then it just ends up tasting like terrible cherries? You know yeah, what I, mean? I know what you mean, but I'm trying so to So it's almost out. like you took a sherry cask to try to like really accent something, but all it did was just sort of badly, thinly disguise the vegetation. So, so far on the nose, do I like this better than what the non-sherry cask finish was? Uh, i say marginally. I'd say equal to me, okay. but just different. Yeah, it's definitely different. I think the difference, it's adding another layer, which I'm giving it, you know, a couple points for complexity. The palate's better. The sulfuric uh, aggressive notes of oh, sherry yeah. combined with the sweetness of sherry really just overlaid that whole palate and brought it all mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like I like the nose a bit better, and I like the taste a bit better than its counterpart that never saw the inside of a sherry barrel. Still don't like the nose. Don't mind the palate. I'm not saying I'm in love with it. I'm saying comparatively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it a bit better. Yeah. It's a, it's a note. One small. Yeah, that's wearing off though. And now the sweetness is turning cloying, like too sweet. Yeah. Like when you get one of those coffee drinks and like it's a seasonal coffee drink yeah. and you discover that you should have ordered it with half the syrup mm -hmm. and it would have been fine. Yeah, yeah. But you didn't. Yeah, yeah, it's just. You see what I mean? Yeah, just not feeling it. Mm -mm. Not feeling it. That's you know, a bummer. Well, you know what the problem is, though? Because we did this episode immediately after this one, mm -hmm. and we're borrowing so much context from this one that now in this episode, we're effectively done. And we've recorded all of four minutes. We're done, period? Well, let me can read questions. I can read very slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see how slow you can read. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I do want to try that with a little bit of water, though. Oh, I have I, I'm to curious mine, to see what the... Wait, you need more. I'm curious to see though. what the sherry cask would do with some water in there. We got Christopher Wheeler. Uh, dot, dot, dot. Y'all reviewed the, this twice before. Oh, yeah. Wait, October 11th, 2018, and March 2nd, 2017. So they. Have we reviewed something? No, Lefroy three, have we reviewed something? Have we reviewed Quarter cask. Have we reviewed something three times now? Maybe. Hold on. Wait, I remember this review. Yeah. Because I asked you. I was hoping no one would notice. <laughs> You. I really wanted to drink it. It was up next. It was up next. Dude, I asked you. And I didn't want to. Hold on. Did yeah. You, did you really not know? No, I googled and, and I searched our sheet and it wasn't anyone on our sheet. No, you gotta search the channel. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't search the channel. I thought I had. Look, I promise you YouTube and yeah, their, yeah. their organization yeah, system yeah. is gonna be better than whatever cobbled together duct tape. No, no, no. I, I, dumb I, and shoestring <laughs> bullshit that you have put I'm in mentally, Google Docs. I usually do, right. but I mentally checked it off. 
as like, oh yeah, I did that too. I don't know how I mentally checked it off right. because then after these comments, I went back and searched and there's, it's obvious. Okay. So, but I mentally was like, yeah, I did that already. Okay. So, uh, once I was, I was surprised too. A, a double review. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, you know, these things happen. You can't keep track of all your wheelings and dealings. <laughs> Their review happened. No. But for a third time, these, Three times Lefroy quarter cast. Like the most ones in 2017, ones in 2018. Yeah, the and then we bring it back in was, 2021. The earliest one is three years ago, and the first one was episode 49. <laughs> like that is a long time ago. Uh-huh. Right, right. Uh-huh. Right, guys? <laughs> right? I just right. wanted to drink Lefroy. Are right, you <laughs> I was tired of all this American whiskey. <laughs> oh, I did not all like All these craft the, guys. I did not like what the water did. Oh, it yeah, especially it, not on the nose. It doubled down on the vegetation. Yeah, it brought it back to this a little. Yeah, it's like, hey, remember that trace of the sherry accent you're getting in there? Forget about that. Here's that vegetation, green, same, mossy. Same in the taste. Just wiped it out. Yeah. Man, it just it just kicked the sweetness right in the teeth and let everything else take its, take its place. Yeah, I'm just not feeling it. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Big M MSG. Is that Mr. Metal Gear? Metal? Oh, that's MGS Metal Gear Solid. Never mind. Hmm. Is it MSG then the stuff it's that you the put flavoring, in food? Yeah, and like okay. fried rice and yeah. Oh, yeah. I like extra MSG. Mm -hmm. Me too, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah, I love that flavor. Oh, I don't know. It's really good. It's the different, it's like, have you ever had a, someone make a Thai curry for you and forget the fish sauce? Right. Even though there's like a drop of fish sauce in no, Thai no, curry, yeah. without the fish sauce, it doesn't taste yeah. like Thai curry. So MSG, MSG is like that with fried rice and Chinese dishes for me. If it's missing, right. it might be good, but you can tell. Yeah, right. this is what I'm thinking because it's MSG. It's a mm -hmm. flavor enhancer. Mm -hmm. Could it flavor enhance? Can you MSG whiskey? I'm saying maybe. Are there? Is there just like one type of? It's it's yeah. monosodium glutamate. Right. It's is just there one, one type of MSG? Yeah. It's not like it's got flavors like uh -oh. popcorn or uh -oh. or uh, maybe, ice cream. Right? Maybe instead of water, you do MSG. You do MSG. I'll so dash it. MSG. Yeah. Oof. Dan, put it on the list. <laughs> MSG or whiskey? Uh, you do know distilling is only illegal if you get caught. No, it's only. It's only a problem if you get caught. It's yeah. illegal no matter what. Yeah, I, was, I saw the comment, and then he went at length for like four more sentences right. about explaining himself. Right. I was like, I don't think you understand the definition of illegal. <laughs> it has nothing to do with whether or not you get caught. Right. It's so I, <laughs> I wholeheartedly agree with it's only a problem. Problem. If you get caught. Yeah. With the legality, I mean, it kind of stands as just an umbrella. And as one of our friends, Gordon Atkinson, says, yeah. If you can pay a fine to get out of it, it's only illegal for poor people. Oh, that's true. No, if you're super rich, then everything you said, bang on the money. Yeah. Yeah, I'll but see if, you on the space shuttles. We do low Earth, earth orbit. Yeah, but, at, but if you are poor, a lot of things are illegal. Yeah. If you have money, only certain things are illegal because <laughs> you can just pay for them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, ultra rich, like the 1% of the 1% of the 1%. I'm not suggesting this, but a little bit of, a little bit of You should start distilling. They should all start distilling. No, I was going to say, if you wanted to whack somebody. Oh, if you just wanted to get someone killed? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can distill too. Right? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is devolved. It's got, it's got it's what dark. happens when we're short of content. Speaking of, no, this is an opportunity for me to explore topics beyond what's happening in the glass, which yeah. we established I'm not really a huge fan of. I'm going to mix them together and see what happens. Speaking of low Earth orbit, there is a company like you don't want to strap in a rocket or you can't afford to they're developing this thing where it's like uh like a capsule probably about as big as this room maybe a little bit smaller they do a giant weather balloon situation mm. and they take you up into right to the edge of space right to where you can see like the curvature of the earth 50 grand oh that's reasonable for right? i mean for space for air flight that's the same level as the red bull dude who jumped from the Red Bull cockpit. Yeah. yeah. Right? That's and that level, right? That's the edge of space. Yeah. yeah. Because then when it deflates, it will come back to Earth and then just add to the space trash. Sure. In theory. Right? right? So, I'm going to need a raise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's me. All right. Mm. Here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, you fight for a friend. If you steal me, you steal your liver's heart. And if you drink, may you drink, drink with us. us.